The Aussie dollar snuck a few points higher and the share market went up half a percent thanks to some very big gains by mining companies, especially the iron ore miners, while banks went down a bit. And shares in Hong Kong and Shanghai also went up. And it was all because China's Politburo had a meeting yesterday and last night they acknowledged that economic progress was tortuous, as they put it, and promised to tackle unemployment and to boost consumption of cars, electronic products and furniture. But they don't seem to have mentioned the property market, which is China's biggest problem. House prices are falling and real estate sales are having the biggest, most prolonged downturn in decades. But the Politburo pronouncement was welcomed by markets anxious about tomorrow's inflation data, which will determine whether we get another rate hike or not. Now, the odds of a rate hike in August are put at 80 per cent. And if not then, 100 per cent in September. But it all depends on tomorrow's CPI. Oil jumped 2.5 per cent last night, but iron ore and gold were flat and the global wheat price surged 6 per cent. Finally, a chart of the biggest US opening weekend movie box office Halls. Barbie and Oppenheimer together, or Barbenheimer if you will, grossed 244 million or 162 million for Barbie and 82 million for Oppenheimer, but both were well beaten by two Avengers and a Star Wars. And that's finance.